Hey guys, today let's learn how to install the Google Play Store on your Windows 11 PC. So if you guys would like to go ahead and do this in this video tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do this step by step. So please watch this video until the end to find out just how. All right, you guys. So what we need to do first is to go ahead and basically download a third party software for us to use the Android software over on our Windows PCs. And one of the best applications to do that job is something called WSA Build. So go ahead and search for WSA builds on your browsers and I would like you guys to go ahead and tap on the github.com to access WSA builds and I want you to go ahead and scroll down until you see the option for you to download it for Windows 11. So we have it right here. All we need to do from here is to download the latest pre-release builds or you could also tap on the latest stable builds. But I think in this case, I would like to go ahead and prefer the stable one for my software. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and tap on Windows 11 64 bit. Of course, before downloading this, you do need to double check your PCs if it is actually capable of downloading this software. As you notice, you do need to have Windows 11 installed and also the 64 bit version and not the 32 bit one. So go ahead and make sure that you are using Windows 11 64 bit before going ahead and downloading this and we can now proceed. Now, once you're here, just go ahead and basically have the latest download. So go ahead and scroll to the bottom until you see the option for you to download that and that should be all located over here on the its assets now tap on the latest one which is going to be on the very top to download this on your pcs and then the download is now commencing over here now all we need to do from here is wait for this to be done and then extract the zip file all right so once it is done you can now go ahead and launch the file or basically locate where the file is just by opening the file so let's go ahead and tap on show in folder real quick all right so now we have access to the file now once we are done here let's go ahead and locate where the file is and then let's open the file location and let's quickly go ahead and extract the file over on here or you can also just go ahead and just open the file if you cannot extract it and then tap on this and i want you to go ahead and tap on the option for you to run the application so go ahead and tap on this option called run.bat and basically it's now going ahead and run the application. But of course, if it's not working as it should, we do need to go ahead and try to extract this file first. So let's try to go ahead and extract this by tapping on extract files too. And let's choose our preferred location. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on my desktop real quick and tap on OK. And now it's basically extracting on the background. The file should be on my desktop over here, but once it is done, it should show up all right so if it's not located anywhere just go ahead and try to locate that over on your pc and try to locate over on the desktop folder so go on here and launch it and i want you to go ahead and do the same as well with trying to tap on the run file so tap on yes and now proceed for the file to do its thing. It's basically installing the Android version for you to use it on your Windows PC. And once that is done, wait for it to load basically. So once everything is done, you could actually now see that you might need a restart so that you could continue to use the virtual machine platform. So in this case, we are going to go ahead and do a quick restart of our device. And we are going to get back to this video right after the restart. And from here, you guys, you can now go ahead and tap on the run option once more. And then that's going to allow you guys to basically see this option. Of course, tap on yes. It's going to go ahead and run the application. Once it is done, you can now see the option for you to use the Android service. So we can actually now go ahead and actually access this right here, as you would see. And we can easily now go ahead and wait for this to finish its loading. And once it is done, we can now actually use the Android system on our Windows 11 PC for us to download Google Play store so as you would use any other android phone the same goes over on the windows subsystem for android right here that we just installed but that is all for this video thank you guys for watching this video please like this video and subscribe as well if you guys learned something and i'll see you guys on the next video